Imagine seeing numbers written in plain black ink, but perceiving them as coloured. Or smelling flowers and seeing geometrical shapes. Or what about hearing the notes F sharp and being able to taste bacon? For synesthetes, they don't have to imagine, because for them, mix-up sensations happen automatically. This can happen between any sense or even between ideas and can result in bizarre associations. For example, even abstract notions like 5 plus 3 can elicit a colour that the synesthetes associates with the answer 8. Famous Russian synesthete Solomon Sharashevsky, who had all five senses interact with each other, once said, One time I went to buy some ice cream. I asked the vendor what kind of ice cream she had. Fruit ice cream. She said. She answered in such a tone that a whole pile of coals, of black cinders, came bursting out of her mouth, and I couldn't bring myself to buy any ice cream after she had answered in that way. Sharashevsky's experience seems to be an extreme form of synesthesia. Most often, synesthetic experiences are associated with ordered linguistic items. These can be numbers, letters, or calendar months. Some describe days of the week having their own colour and form, and can even extend into space in a sort of map. The fact that there seems to be a pattern to most synesthesia is perhaps a clue as to how the brain makes these connections. But first, how do we know they're not just making it up? Scientists have tested claims of synesthesia by using displays of black and white numbers. Hidden amongst these are other numbers in a pattern that look very similar. For example, these fives have a triangle of twos in the bottom right corner. If the two numbers really do induce different colours of synesthetes, then they should be quicker at spotting this pattern, and this is indeed the case. This is also evidence that synesthesia must be, for some at least, a sensory experience rather than just conceptual, or the result of an overactive imagination. What about more direct evidence? Are there differences in the brains of synesthetes? Research has indicated that a literal cross-activation may be responsible for what happens in the brain. Area V4, the colour processing area, lies right next to another area of the brain known to be important for processing graphemes, that is, representations of numbers and letters. Scientists have argued that it can't be a coincidence that associations between colour and graphemes is the most common form of synesthesia. Recently, Scientists have looked at the connections in the brain while subjects took psilocybin, the active chemical in magic mushrooms. This hallucinogenic drug alters sensory perception and can even cause synesthesia. This diagram represents major connections in a control subject's brain. On psilocybin, they found that the brain makes many transient connections of low stability and a small number of persistent ones. Unusual patterns of connection between different parts of the brain may be for some a quirk of development, and may explain the more extreme forms of this strange condition. Such connections may not be so unusual, however. In fact, some scientists think we may all be synesthetes to a certain extent. Which one of these patterns would you name Kiki, and which one would you name Booba? The sounds of the names are random and abstract, and so are the shapes. Yet if you're like over 95% of people, then you'll name the spiky one Kiki and the curvy one Booba. There seems to be a tendency to naturally associate sounds and shapes in a regular way, Perhaps we all have connections in the brain like those of synesthetes, but synesthetes just go a few connections further. Fruit ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I can't smile.